While millions of Africans depend on the Congo Basin for their livelihoods, it's the world's second largest rainforest. And like the Amazon, the basin plays a vital role in the global climate. And as Paul Sisko reports, a prominent environmental group is promoting solar power as a means to protect the Congo's vast greenery. Greenpeace opened its second office in Africa last month, focusing its efforts on deforestation and educating citizens and governments on climate change solutions. Protect the forests, save the climate, they sing. Part of a series of workshops set up by Greenpeace with the Boma community in the Democratic Republic of Congo. They're demonstrating various solar-powered appliances, like this radio torch. <laughs> Trainer Bernadette Nzuzi says there's a great need for these kinds of appliances in the region, and they can be very helpful, especially because of the high cost of electricity. In many parts of the DRC and elsewhere, people depend on wood for cooking and heating, putting added pressure on forests already threatened by logging interests. Greenpeace organizer, René Ngongo. The majority of the people, especially in forest regions, depend on the forest for their livelihood, especially for their energy needs. We can't demand people stop cutting trees, but Greenpeace is demonstrating some solutions and alternatives to cooking with wood. Samuel Nagifo, an environmentalist from Cameroon, says the forest is of local and global importance. He joins others calling for an international compensation fund for countries preserving their forests intact. We have to seize the opportunity because it's probably the last chance to save Central Africa's forest. Greenpeace is stepping up its environmental activism in Africa by opening another office in Dakar, Senegal, next year. Paul Sisko, VOA News.